I've been coaching people for 16 years, specifically business owners and entrepreneurs. And as I've coached them, I've realized there's three hidden dangers that literally kill them in the process of growing or building a business. They're very busy working, and the three things they can take them out is either a heart attack, a divorce, or a bankruptcy. Now, I don't know about you, but is this true? Have you seen this? They work and work and work and work and work, heart attack, oh, gone. Or they work and work and work and work and work, they come home, they forgot to talk to their spouse, their spouse is no longer there. <laughs> or they work and work and work and work, they have a great spouse, they're super healthy, but they don't work enough or intelligently enough and their money's gone, they're bankrupt. So these things take them out. This is the downside. The upside is I hope clients get remarkable results through the coaching and we've helped them in our startups, we've helped them achieve over $500 million of raised funds for their companies. We've helped our business owners, small business clients take their income from 500,000 to 750,000 in a year while taking a five day vacation once a month, every month. So we help people do these things. Leave the job they hate, find the, you know, build the company they love, and spend time with the people who matter to them most. So in doing this, I figured out there's three main lessons over 16 years I picked up that I think are absolutely crucial to really getting the most out of yourself during those difficult times. Number one came from a client of mine who used to train the snipers for the Navy SEALs. And he said, you know, not only did he do that, after he got out of the armed forces, he went and built a $20 million plus per year company. And he said, there's two things you have to master in order to create results, both as a sniper, but also as a business owner. He said, number one, you got to be laser focused. You have to be able to focus on exactly what it is you want to do. He said, as a sniper, if you're not able to focus, you're not going to hit the target. He said, the other thing that happens though, let's say you're laser focused, but you're not aware of what's going on around you. That's very dangerous. Someone walks up behind you, and if you're so focused, you're not paying attention to the environment, someone shoots you and now you're dead and no longer useful to the team. I went, oh, that's crazy. And I said, well, where else is that useful? And I thought about it, I said, a business owner. That's very useful to a business owner. If they're not focused, they don't get anything done. Now, if they're only focused, and they're not aware of what's going on around them, one of their partners or employees makes three bad decisions, they're bankrupt and out of business. So a business owner has to be focused and aware of the chaos. I said, what about a parent? If you're not focused as a parent, you get nothing done all day. You're too distracted. Now at the same time, if you're only focused and not paying attention to the chaos around you, kid number three accidentally burns the house down. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so you need to build this muscle. The question is, how do you build this muscle? And so I went out and did some research and I figured out one thing that helps build the muscle is meditation. 10 minutes a day of meditation builds the muscle of staying totally focused, well aware of the chaos. Here's the only problem. I took this concept to my clients and they said, Jarek, I've tried meditation. It doesn't work. I closed my eyes. I talked to myself for 10 minutes, I opened my eyes, and nothing changed. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not meditation. So I went out and I searched all kinds of tools and processes. One of them was called Muse. It's a brain training device. It's meditation, but don't tell anybody. And I tricked them. I said, hey, use this and train your brain every day. It'll help you become better focused, better memory. It'll help you become a better communicator. It'll help you feel less stress but it's brain training. That's what I told them, and they believed me, so they did brain training every day. And with brain training, we found out there's over 120 studies done at universities all around the world that discovered brain training, remember? Don't tell anybody. Brain training or meditating 10 minutes a day each day lowers anxiety, depression, ADHD, ADD, all these amazing benefits by putting in the meditation time each day. Now, that was one way to get to focused and aware of the chaos, focused and calm. I, I said, let's find another way to get you there. Just in case you can't do the meditation, you're not gonna do the brain training. What about breathing? That's an easy thing to do every day. Let's try breathing. So I came up with, and I studied and researched it, and I said, oh, there's three different types of breathing that can get you calm, laser focused, and aware of the chaos. Number one is box breathing. It's really simple. 
it's a box, <laughs> a little square. And what you think about is when you breathe in, you breathe four seconds in as you go up, you hold it for four seconds, you breathe out for four seconds, and you hold it out for four seconds. Simple as that, if you do it for 10 minutes a day, you'll see your heart rate, your blood pressure, and all the biometrics go completely down to calm. Just for 10 minutes a day of box breathing. Then I said, okay, let's come up with another way. What else could you do? There's one in the middle up here on the screen called the big hold. What that means is, it's, a, it's another way to get to calm and focused. It's you charge up with hyperoxygenation, so in through your mouth, out through your mouth, like this. And you do 30 of those breaths. At the 30th breath, you blow out and hold for a minute. And with the minute hold, you'll activate what my friend at Stanford Neuroscience calls superhuman. You activate all the fight or flight without any of the negative consequences. So we don't have time to do three rounds of this like we normally would, but let's do 10 breaths and a 30 second hold. Let's do it as a group. So we're gonna do 10 breaths in through your mouth, out through your mouth, then we're just gonna hold for 30 seconds. You guys ready? Let's go. Big breath in, big breath out, hold. Now with this hold, it's only 30 seconds. I want you to stay calm and focused. Notice you might have tingly feelings. You might feel very present. You might feel very in the moment. You can think of what you're grateful for. You can think of what you're excited about. You can focus on something in the future that you anticipate that'll be exciting and rewarding. You can think of a special loving person or moment in your life. But notice how your mind and body just became totally present. Notice how you're aware of what's going on around you without being distracted by it. Notice how you're calm, yet focused. This is another way to get to that same place each day. I'll give you one more just to try it on for size. This is a reset breath. So we're gonna take a big breath in, and this time we're gonna hold it, we're gonna squeeze, so squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze your face, squeeze your hands, squeeze your arms, five, four, three, two, one, and then drop it out. We're gonna do it two more times together. So let's go, big breath in. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, drop it out. One more time, big breath in. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, drop it out. Now for most of you, that should reset the vagus nerve, which resets the peripheral nervous system and in your entire body. So this is the third breath pattern you can use to get back to calm and focus. So let's jump forward to lesson number two. That's how to get calm and focus, or focused and aware of the chaos. Lesson number two is how a friend of mine was able, through using this 33% formula, to strike a $10 million business deal. Now with this, let me explain the formula first. It's really simple, it's a philosophy I live by. When you're building your peer group, the people you spend time with, 33% of them should be five or 10 steps ahead of you in what you're trying to accomplish so you can learn from them. 33% should be at the exact same moment so you can trade what's working and what's not. And 33% might be a step or two behind you so you can give it, you can share with them what works and help them catch up. Now, I have a friend of mine, oh, hold on. Harvard University did some research. They found out that the people you spend time with, your peer group, will determine how happy you are, how long you live, and how much money you make in your lifetime. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty important. So what happened is, let me tell you a story about a friend of mine. This guy on the left <laughs> with the crazy hair, he wanted to learn from the guy on the right for you guys named Jim Cramer. He's a stock guy in the United States. He wanted to learn from him. And most people, when they want to learn something, what they do is they say, can I take you out to coffee? Can I pick your brain? Can I ask you questions? And that never works. He said, how can I instead add value to this person? So what he did is this is the formula. Every day he wrote down for 30 days, 10 ways he could add massive value to Jim's life or business. He wrote it down every day for 30 days. He took the 300 things he came up with, he took the top 10, and he picked his one favorite. And it was 10 blogs he wishes Jim and his team would write so he could read them as an avid reader of their blog. He wrote the titles, 
He did the research. He wrote the summaries. He put them in one email and sent it off to, to Jim. He got an email back in 10 minutes that said, can we hire you to do this for us? He said, I'd love to. He got hired, and each day while he was working there, he said, what's 10 ways I can make this place better? He found one. It was a software. He invested, created it. He showed it to Jim's team. Jim's team bought it for $10 million from him by using this little formula I just showed you. It's absolutely incredible if you use it. Now, lesson number three is my favorite. I would love to help you become the happiest person you know and 10x your happiness literally this week. And there's a formula to do this. In order to really do this, we have to look at the research. They've done over 200 studies on over 275,000 people that concluded when you're happy, neutral, or not happy, happy people have better relationships, better health, longer lives, make more money, better in business, all the good stuff by being happy versus neutral or negative. It's amazing. Now, the first thing you need to do to get happy my wife thought that was funny. The, the first thing you need to do to get happy um, is find something that makes you laugh for 10 minutes a day. It releases oxytocin and it raises your happiness and connection. Here are some happiness habits that we can think about. First, we already talked about meditation. 10 minutes a day of meditation, scientifically proven to increase your happiness. Sleep, seven and a half to eight hours of high quality sleep with 20% REM and 20% deep increases your overall happiness. Uh, something to look forward to, we're gonna do in just a moment here, but the pleasure center of your brain doesn't know the difference between what you vividly imagine and what you actually accomplish. So when you vividly imagine a positive future, dopamine is released and you feel compelled to take action. Taking action makes you feel confident, confident boosts your happiness. Uh, acts of kindness, two hours of volunteering per week or random acts of kindness each day. And finally, exercise, 30 minutes of exercise per day. All these things are scientifically proven to raise your happiness levels. Now, I wanna give you an experience of this really quick so you can create that positive future vision and embody it. So if you would, sit up straight, take a deep breath, close your eyes, and imagine what your ideal day would be like. So imagine, we're gonna put some music on here. Imagine what it would be like waking up on your absolute ideal day. Your perfect day. Where would you be on this day? How would you feel on this day? What would be possible on this day? Early in the morning as you awoke on this day, when you open your eyes, what's the very first thing you would see? Who would be there with you on this perfect day? What would be possible on this day? As you got up out of bed and went into the day from 9 a.m. till noon, what's everything you'd want to accomplish on your perfect day? What would you want to create, develop, design? What kind of projects would you want to work on? What kind of people would you want to interact with on your perfect day? Here's a crazy question. What would you do for lunch on your absolute ideal day? Who would you have lunch with? What would you have for lunch? How much laughter, joy, silliness, and fun would fill the conversation over that lunch? Now let's say from 12 noon all the way into three, four, five in the afternoon, what's everything you'd want to accomplish on your perfect day? What would you want to create? What would you want to develop or design? What would you want to be a part of? What kind of difference would you make in the community around you? How much fun, laughter, joy, humor, silliness, and energy would fill every moment of the journey? Crazy question. On your perfect day, as the sun became the set, would you take a moment to observe the magnificence of life unfolding before your eyes? to watch the beauty and miracles of nature happen moment by moment in front of you. And as you came to the end of this day and headed home, what would you truly, truly be grateful for on your absolute ideal day? Who are the people you'd be grateful for? What are the opportunities? What are the moments that you'd be incredibly grateful for on this day? 
Think of them for just a few more moments. Think of everything you'd truly be grateful for on that day. As a matter of fact, think of what you're grateful for on this day, today. And if you would, open your eyes. How many of you enjoyed whatever it is you just saw? Very nice, very nice. The last thing I wanted to say, really simple, is thank you. Like I said in the beginning, our goal is to help the people who need it most at the moment they need it with the message they need. I don't know who you are, where you came from, or what you were looking for, but I hope you found it in this presentation. Thank you.